This public hearing was meant to encourage people to talk about atrocities committed in Matabeleland during the 1980s. But some here feel the National Peace and Reconciliation Commission, set up by Zimbabwe's government, is a waste of time. Emerson President Emerson Manangagwa was in charge of internal security during the Gukurahundi massacres, where thousands of people were killed, allegedly by forces loyal to Robert Mugabe, the former president. People from this area, mainly Matabeleland and Midlands, needs to see the very guys who really took part in those atrocities being arrested, being taken to court, because we are saying that most of them are still alive. They are still there even in the government. So we are like saying, if justice is to be done, those people should be arrested. Soon after independence from Britain in 1980, Mugabe believed some Zimbabweans were plotting to overthrow him. He accused some communities of working with and hiding his enemies, he called dissidents. Some people say they don't want an apology, they don't even want compensation. As far as they are concerned, these hearings shouldn't go ahead. They don't trust the government. Those who want the hearings to continue so they can get answers are frustrated. These three came from an area called Cholocho. They say soldiers came to their village in 1983 looking for dissidents. It's difficult to talk about what happened. They killed my husband, then they beat and raped me. It's very painful. The Gukurahundi massacres and other atrocities tore apart families. Some people still don't know where their loved ones are buried. What is it that can unite this country? Unless we hear what is aching people, what is troubling people, what are the major problems that are keeping us divided, we do not know how far we can move. Mugabe called the massacres a moment of madness, but he never apologized. Forgiveness and healing will be a long, slow and painful journey for those desperate for answers. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Lupane, Zimbabwe.